Now this is definitely what you would call stuck in the mud. It's uh, it's probably one of the worst cases I've seen. Van washed downstream, carried down the wash, covered in mud and sand and mess. I'm Box Truck Corey. This is my Box Truck RV conversion. And today we are talking about when things go wrong in van life. Bubba Box Truck Corey. This is a van life nightmare. Can you imagine how much this must really suck? Like this van got caught in this wash. Big storm and it was just buried. Man, someone's been working hard just to try and dig it out so far, but the work continues. Like, boy, I just, I can't imagine. Like, definitely a nightmare. How do you, how do you deal with that? You can see the force of the water. Like, it is burrowed out a, a three foot deep trench all the way through. This is a fast flowing river at times. It's wide, it's deep, and it can be a menace. Don't need to tell these folks, they already know. The digging, the work, and then once it's out, the job's not done. To try and get this thing running again, all the sand and the mud that must be in here. Oh boy. It was buried good. And uh, what do you say? Like people wonder, how does this happen? But it can happen easier than you think. Some people that are unfamiliar with an area will think that this wash is a road and they'll try and drive on it. And you may see tire tracks from a sand rail or a quad. And if you don't know, just like that, man, you turn in there and you're stuck and then, then a storm comes. Oh, how does it get worse than this? Do you imagine being stuck inside there? You, you maybe you can get out the windows, but the door's not opening. I'm not sure how far it was, how far it came floating down, but one thing I am sure of, it was not a good day for the owner of this van. It's an older van. Is it insured or not? Who knows? But if you got good insurance, I guess you just pick up the phone and you let someone else get it out of there. But in this case, they're digging. We've got a little friend to come to visit. How are you? How are you? Like people say, oh, don't park in a wash, don't camp in a wash, this could happen. But there are other ways for this to happen. And you know, <clears throat> things happen, you get stuck, then a storm comes and it just compounds, just gets worse. But you know, it's not always people doing something ridiculous like camping in a wash. Like, can you imagine the mess that must be inside there? You can see the dirt's up almost to the windows. Now look. Look at the front of that van. Look at that. Like that is going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Like there is mud and sand everywhere. So what do you think? How does something like this happen? Is this uh, just a tragic accident? Is it lack of planning, negligence, stupidity? 
tell me in the comments how does a nightmare like this unfold?